think about colon cancer as a disease that primarily affects people 50 and older, but the recent death of 43-year-old actor Chadwick Boseman shows that colorectal cancer can strike years earlier. Eyewitness News Health Beat reporter Mark Hiller explains from Kingston. Not only has colorectal cancer become a reality for many people younger than 50, but also it's the only age group with incident rates on the rise. While Chadwick Boseman was making blockbuster movies, he was waging a silent four-year fight with colon cancer. First diagnosed with stage three colorectal cancer at 39 years of age, the cancer would become stage four before taking his life. Boseman has become a high-profile example of a disturbing trend. This is a problem that we've seen in younger adults. An increasing number of millennials and Generation Xers, people in their 20s to just over 50, are being diagnosed with colorectal cancer. We've seen a 50% increase in young colorectal cancer since approximately 1994. And we've seen a significant increase in minority groups. Dr. Sademan points out that the rate of colon cancer among young people has paralleled the increase in obesity in this demographic in the U.S. But we're not sure if diet, we're not sure if lack of exercise is causing this increased risk and it's an area of active research right now. The American Cancer Society has grown so concerned it moved up its recommendation for adults from 50 to 45 to begin screening for colorectal cancer who are only average risk. Dr. Sabin says younger people with increased risk for colorectal cancer, like it runs in their family or they have some symptoms, should be more vigilant. We have to be aggressive in working somebody up who has changes in their bowel habits or any bleeding whatsoever, no matter what age. In death, Bozeman is proving as impactful as he was on the big screen. His legacy is profound. Since Chadwick Boseman's death, the American Cancer Society reports a roughly 8,000% increase in traffic on its colorectal cancer symptoms page. With the health beat in Kingston, Mark Hiller, Eyewitness News.